everybody, it's Sarah, and this is Star, and this is Felicia, and they're going to be helping me out today because today we're going to be doing a taste test of Aldi's versus name brand. Um, Aldi's is known for being very, very cheap. The store doesn't accept coupons because everything they sell is generic. Once in a while you can find some name brands there, but the store still won't accept coupons. But everything is just really, really cheap, and I think that that has kind of given it a bad name. Some people don't want to buy the groceries there because they're generic. They just don't have a good idea of what generic might mean. I've asked uh, my boyfriend and my friend here and they're going to help taste test this and decide if one or the other is better or are they the same and uh, are we wasting gas money to go all the way out to Aldi's or is couponing better? I normally shop at Aldi's for the basics like eggs and flour and sugar, things that really don't need a name brand or generic. I mean, sugar is sugar. It doesn't matter if it's giant brand or Domino's, it's a plain sugar and eggs come out of chicken's butts wherever they're from, whatever label is on the eggs. So in any case, um, we're going to go ahead and get started on taste testing some stuff. So here we go. Alright, so now we're going to be tasting macaroni and cheese. Felicia's a nanny and a lot of kids eat macaroni and cheese and they go through it really, really quickly. I think this one tastes a lot better. Um, it's got but it's also warm. So it does give No, it. actually, no. Um, I would say um, it is warmer, but um, it's got a stronger cheese flavor to it. It's um, it's it feels more like a thick a, a thick macaroni and cheese, kind of like you know, like a homemade one, mm -hmm. where this one is just like noodles with a cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. I mean, taking into account that this has too much milk. Yeah, sorry. This I'm, is I very. Yeah, no, that one's yeah. a lot better. Yeah, you can really tell it, this one. This one tastes. You can taste the cheese in this one. Mhm. Mm okay. I yeah. can eat this for days. You guys both like the Aldi's brand better. I really? It. This is the I Aldi's. This is the Aldi's brand. This is Kraft. Oh, that surprises me. Yeah. I tell sometimes the, the sometimes the cheaper brands are better. <laughs> Aldi's wins that one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, like she just wants to keep eating the mac and cheese. I'm telling her, I'm starving. I got off work and I was like, would they judge me if I, you know, stopped at home, got some food, and they came over for the taste test? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> all right. So now it is snack corn chips. One of these is Fritos, and one of these is all these brand cheap Fritos. So. I'm going to guess before I even like look. I feel like these are Fritos. Just guess that. They look more like Fruto. You can tell by looking? Wait, I don't understand. I mean, they look really similar, but they look like Fritos. They're more clean cut, I guess. Which one is a pickle? Which one are the two? Okay, well, these taste really similar. They have both the right amount of saltiness that I need in my life. I feel like they taste very similar. Yeah. They, very, very similar. And I'm just going to guess because of looking that this is the Fritos. Yeah, I'd say this one I might like. This one's a little bit more salty. Yeah. yeah. These, are the, these are the Fritos. Yeah. These are the Fritos and these are the Aldi's. But you said yourself Maybe that they I taste. Maybe I eat Fritos often. <laughs> but I mean, I, I eat Fritos all the time. Yeah. And I mean, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I, I took kind of your stash of Fritos to make yeah. fill this bowl. But but you guys said that they taste really similar. Yeah, I would say this one's a tie. Is it a tie? Yeah. Taste wise, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take. Even though I knew which one they were, which is why I'm not taste testing because I know <coughs> what goes going in which bowl and plate. She's back to the mac and cheese. I'm hungry. I mean, I don't want this to go to waste. I've already used my spoon on this plate, so you know. I'm saving you the trouble, the guilt of throwing away food. Are we taste testing steaks? <laughs> Have you seen her cook steaks? Is it good or bad? Oh, shut up! <laughs> I didn't say a word. You didn't say a word. You must like sleeping on that couch. <laughs> 
Has he actually ever, have you ever slept on the couch? Have you ever been put to the couch? No. I've never done that. I've never done either. No, I've I threaten it, but. But you know what? If she does, I'll stop cooking steaks. <laughs> <laughs> now I offered to put this on bread, but they said no, because it would bother the taste test if they have to eat the pure product. So, one of these is Aldi's peanut butter, and one of these is Skippy peanut butter. These are very similar too. Mm -hmm. Is there any difference? I think I like this one better. I agree. I think it's a little bit creamier. For some reason, I feel like this one is like saltier. I don't, I don't know what type of word to use for it, but there's like some sharpness to it, nuttiness or something. It's almost that like I it's, don't it's more, it's more porous, but no, not yeah. not nutty. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like this one. This one's better. Okay. I think. Yeah. That one is skippy. So that one is the more expensive one. So, taste test, all the fails. But apparently not by much. But yeah, not by much. Not by much, but... I mean, if somebody put it on a bur uh, on a sandwich with jelly, I'm good. Because okay. I can't eat straight peanut butter. But if you give me some jelly, some sweet to offset that, I feel like both would be perfectly fine with it. Okay. You know, I would say I do eat straight peanut butter all the time at work. I'll get a big spoon and I'll snack on it. Um, this is your weird. Um, I actually would actually say that if I eating this one, I would probably eat less of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it, I think it does have a little bit of an aftertaste now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's like once you've had it in your mouth for a while, which like it took me forever to get it to go down. Mm -hmm. That one, I did not like it towards the end. Like yeah. it was like, yeah. That's how I went. I went from that one to this one. I had to take it and wash my mouth out and go back. And it was a totally different taste, so that's what, yeah, so Skippy's definitely a winner on this Okay, one. so name brand wins over all these. All right. Don't eat spoons. Sweet and salty peanut granola bars. One of them is Nature Valley. One of them is all these. Okay, I can get these ones. I can't tell the difference. I think I like both of them. <laughs> you like both of them? <laughs> yeah, I can't tell the difference. At all? At all. Okay. And you eat these all the time. He eats, he loves granola bars. He eats them all the time. Um, his son eats them all the time. So, if you can't tell the difference, I'll, 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 I'll tell you, this, top, the, this one was Aldi's and this one was Nature Valley, but you couldn't tell the difference either? Mm -hmm. They were pretty equal. No, I didn't tell the difference at all. This is why she said it's a whole dinner. <laughs> it's soup. <laughs> it's soup. Oh. It is canned chicken noodle soup. One of them is Campbell's, one of them is Aldi's. So, already looking at it, at, at, I'm short, can you see a lot of noodles in yours? I cannot. I can okay. Just, and you can see all oh, the Oh yeah, I can here. see the noodles here. Yeah. I see no noodles in this one. It yeah, is. I see like a little bit of one. That one's better. And that one's better. That's Campbell's. This is like no salt or something. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so Campbell's wins. This one, this, one, this one actually has more of a chickeny flavor too. Mm -hmm. okay. For sure. Or I wouldn't know, maybe not chickeny, but the flavor you feel like chicken noodle soup should have. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. I can't. But um, also, if you look, I mean, the noodle, the noodles are actually more plump too. Yeah. When I when I when I put the cans into the pot, I was like, oh, that's visibly different. And that was the only time I was when I was cooking the mac and cheese or anything that looked visibly different and if you if you play with it if you pull it up you actually see new no, see, no, no, no chicken you see bits of chicken i did not see any chicken in that one there's one 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 lone chicken yeah, yeah i actually no stir it around i only see one yeah and this one i mean it's just every spoonful there okay. i just pulled up like five large pieces of chicken right there look at that oh oh we got one and a fourth. One and a half. That's so it. Campbell's Campbell's was a very clear winner up there. Yeah. Very clear winner. Seventeen course meal. How many are we doing? How many are there's, left? There's a few left. So speaking of courses, we're from the south, so this is a course for us. Ketchup. I offered, let it be known, I offered to cook like French fries or onion rings or something that they could dip in the ketchup, but no. They just wanted the ketchup. It's because they're gangsta. Now you can see that this one is brighter than that yep. one. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm trying to remember what Heinz <laughs> ketchup looks like. <laughs> we got too much ketchup on this bit. It was okay. a little strong. 
<laughs> okay. That's good. Hmm. They both have two distinct flavors. But it's one worse than the other. It's one kind of. I feel like they taste exactly the same. You, say, say, like, you say they taste the same? That one is warm, this one is cold. I think this one's a little sweeter. Okay. Um, what, the, the I, don't, I don't know. Oh, no, I, was, I would say that one's a little sweeter, but you know what? When I eat ketchup, I don't eat that much ketchup, so I... I don't, either. I, I don't care. So I'd say a tie because is it a tie? Neither no, one. I, yeah. They both. They both do. I, I do think there's a small. You can tell a difference in the flavor, but it's not a difference that makes one better than the other. Yep. I agree. Okay. So they're I equal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep, I would say. Um, this was Heinz and this was Aldi's. Yeah. But hey. No, no. So I feel like this. that was a tie. Okay. You know, you see a, pl uh, a pile in you know, all this taste testing food. I see a pile of dishes I'm going to have to do here in about ah, an hour. I know. Now you do know that uh, on one of the top cabinets we've got disposable bowls. I did not know that. I wish I'd known that a, a while ago. Why didn't you inform me of this? Because my job was to remind you about the disposable spoons. Which I'm just using the same spoon, so I guess. I don't care. Put a little bit of germs. You ain't going to kill me. I don't think you have anything. I got cooties. <laughs> I didn't okay. come here for that reason. I asked you, did he have kids? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, this, I asked them if they wanted it warmed up. They did not. This is plain old tomato sauce. I use uh, base tomato sauce for to make spaghetti sauce. You know, just taking plain old tomato sauce and adding salt, pepper, and all sorts of things to it. This is not, has nothing of that. It's straight out of the can. It's not even warmed up on their request. So. <laughs> They definitely taste different on that initial in the mouth. Yeah. I don't know how to feel about this. I think I this know. one's a little bit, maybe a little bit, I guess, saltier a little bit, but I like this one a lot better. This one has a lot better m m melding of flavors. It seems more hearty. It yes. seems like there's something yeah. extra and it's thicker in your mouth. This mm -hmm. one seems like a watered down version of that. Yes. That's a good way to say Both it. of them are still good. That one is is better. Okay. Yep. That is Hunt's. Okay. So that is the Hunt's brand. This was all these. So basically it's um, So basically if the, so name, far, if the name brand doesn't win, it ties. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not true. Macaroni and cheese. I'll do one on the macaroni no, and cheese. Generally. I'm about to test Italian salad dressing with two people who don't like Italian salad dressing. So uh, there you go. And uh, let me know which ones you hate the least. Obviously, they look different because every brand is going to have their own flavor. So, because oh, Italian is really, I mean, when you Ooh, look at it in the bottles, different. when you look about it in the bottles, it's all. Is it made from real Italians? We watched the Adams How Family. Do we, do <laughs> <laughs> we watched the Adams Family movie on Halloween last night. Uh, so much better. So much better. This one is better? Whatever that one is. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. It actually had chunks of something in it. Yeah. And it was sweeter. This is way more sour. Vinegary. And oily. And oily. Yes. That's all. That one is way more mixed and that good. Is, yeah. That's Aldi's. You like the Aldi's better? Uh -huh. Aldi's is apparently... Aldi's won the salad dressing challenge. So. It was not as bad. This was that. Ken's, by the way. I'm going old school for this one, and I just took the labels off the cans. And here comes the cat. And here comes the cat, because here comes the tuna. She was, she's was she been following and meowing me from the kitchen. In a second, she's going to jump on the table, and then she gets the taste test. We'll see how long that takes. Are you going to let her? I don't like her to eat off the table. She jumps. Unfortunately, when I got her, she was so small. It was cute when she jumped on the table, so now that she's grown, she doesn't know that she's not supposed to do that. She's like... But I always have before, um, so I, I do. I don't let her eat on the table. I can tell the difference. I want to say this one is better, but they're really, they're really the same. But for some reason, I want more of this. But I don't know why, because I would have some more of that is too. It but texture or anything? I mean, the taste is. 
I don't know. Honestly, to it's me, just, once you throw some mayo and some pickles and stuff to make a sandwich out of it, you cannot tell the difference. No, I cannot tell the difference. So, yeah, this is the starkest. Yeah, I couldn't. I would not be able to tell the difference. I would. Yeah. Okay. So tuna's pretty much a tie. There may be a slight, slight, slight edge, but with the plain tuna. But you feel that with mixing it, when you mix it up with the mayo and everything, mm -hmm. you yeah. won't be able. Yeah. Yeah. No, that last bite we made it like pretty much even. Emma, want a snack? Look how quickly she came. Hi. Plain bread. No peanut butter. No butter. No anything. Now keep in mind that the name brand, name brand that you're comparing it to is actually giant generic brand because I do not pay five dollars for a loaf of butter, a loaf of butter. <laughs> I will not pay five dollars for a loaf of bread that says Wonder Bread or Sunbeam, and I've seen it go for like three and a half to four dollars. And giant bread is perfectly good for sandwiches and for toast in the morning, which is pretty much all I ever eat it for. So it is Aldi's brand versus giant brand. They look very different. And all I can say is, uh, if you ain't first, you're last. Because you brought up Wonder Bread, and all I can think of is uh, Talladega Nights. Okay. It tastes like sandwich bread. <laughs> I was going to say, what, is, what do you think it's going to taste like? I mean, I offered to put butter or it's something so on salty. it. It's so salty. I offered to put something on it. You're just, you know. No. Nope. This one is lighter. Uh-huh. It's way more fluffy. And this one is... Uh, very uh, almost thicker. Yeah, there I no. is thicker. Yeah, no, no, it's thicker and it's heavier. And that's whiter. That's more like bleached. That's more yellowish. So both of these were labeled white sandwich bread. So No, this one's definitely my whatever this one is is the one I really like. I like this one. Okay. But this it's mainly like I don't think that either one of them tastes bad. I know because it's, it's the texture. Like I like that thicker right. bread. I know, which is why hearty. I was hesitant. He likes fluffy. Yeah, so. that's why I was hesitant about taste testing bread because everybody has a preference. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I've actually had both of these breads mm -hmm. before, and in my opinion, it ch my preference changed on what I was having in the sandwich because, like for roast beef, I want a thicker bread. I want to, you know, but for you know tuna fish, I want a lighter bread. So. Um, but this was giant bread, and this was Aldi's bread. Oh. Okay. <laughs> How much was Aldi's bread? Aldi's bread was 83 cents a loaf. I'll be bread. Okay. <laughs> You've been asking for this oh, yeah. the whole time. All right, so Ritz crackers, although to be fair, these are actually generic Ritz crackers. Oh, They're yeah. not Ritz crackers. And one of them is Philadelphia cream cheese, and one of them is Aldi's Are we cream taste cheese. testing the, the crackers? No. Okay. You just want to eat the cream cheese plain? Some people find that a little... No, I'll do that too. I'm going to try it on the cracker and then I'll okay. try it on the spoon. Then that's... I love cream cheese. Yeah, just give me like a stick. <laughs> I know I love cream cheese too. I feel like I'm tasting a lot of the cracker though, honestly. Okay, well then that's... It was good do with the cracker. Do you want more spoons? Where's the rest of the spoons? I think we're just doing up on the spoon. Oh, okay. Well, the I next one is the last one, and it's yogurt, so don't give up on the spoons, because I don't want you to eat yogurt with that. With my finger? With your finger, yeah. I couldn't hook it? <laughs> I think I like this one better. This one has more flavor to it. I was going to say the same thing. The other one's not bad. This one seems a little... Cream it's got a little something going for it. Cream, this one's more cream cheesier. It's mm -hmm. cream cheesier? Yeah. Okay. Very cheesy. Yeah. This one, I mean, it's not bad, mm -hmm. but this one definitely has a better flavor and almost, I think, a, a, a fluffier texture, even though I know it wasn't whipped, but it's um, less dense, which is, I think, gives it a bit of better. Okay. That, that, that you taste it better. This was good taste test. This, this, this was this was best one. <laughs> You're only saying that because you like cream cheese. <laughs> I like cream cheese, too. I um, like the mac and cheese, too. Please That's true. Me. You cleaned your plate. I see it. Okay. Um, that was the Philadelphia. You guys both like the Philadelphia better. Mm. So, so all these loses again. Aw. But I would say if I was baking with it, if you're baking with it. I would definitely get the uh, the other one because it's um, you're not going for a direct cream cheese flavor. Yep. So I think okay, for, that's bake, a for good baking for cooking wise, I think that one is is. is is good. Okay. Because it's still cream cheese and it'll do what you need. But if you're eating like just cream cheese on a bagel, you want that fluffy yeah, you want cream the, cheese. Yeah. 
I would definitely go with that one. And I'm wondering what the uh, sodium is for both of these, honestly. Ooh, because this one seems look. like, I don't know, like saltier, but not in a bad way. Okay, so the Philadelphia sodium is 125 milligrams, megagrams. How much? MG, 125. This is 95. Okay, so Philadelphia has a lot more sodium. Oh, equals flavor. I had a fit. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. I, I, it tasted saltier to me. That's funny. So for baking, that really makes yeah. sense because it's, it's, this one. it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. And how many bagels are you gonna eat? Like one bagel, so you can do that. But like for one cupcakes, bagel, amateur. I ate half a bagel. <laughs> oh no no no. Uh uh no. That's not how I was raised. <laughs> <laughs> Two bagels, at least, minimum. Are we talking slices onion. or are we talking a whole bagel? Oh, a whole bagel. Slices of onions, lox, cream cheese, tomato, onion. It maybe. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit in there. <laughs> lox and cream cheese and onions. That is the proper way of bagel. Onion. Yeah, onion. I'll try it. Onion, yes. Oh my, no. I like to I like to go to uh, in Tyson's Corner. Now we're just eating the cream cheese. There's the uh, Tyson's Bagel Market. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're only open for like breakfast and lunch, but um, and not basically all they do is bagel. Mm -hmm. But I like to have a banana nut bagel, and you go in there and get the banana oh, nut what? bagel toasted with peanut butter and jelly. It is hmm. so good. Have you had the Panera Bread, the cinnamon crunch bagels? I have. Where there's crunches, like they fall They're off, good. and then you, I, I, Those spray, are good. I take oh. all the big chunks off, and I cut the bagel in half, and then I put the cream cheese, and I sprinkle all like the bag stuff on top, so there's like a little crunch. In each. That is a good. Yeah. I would try a banana nut because I love banana yeah, nut. I, I, I Panera, I love it. They're Asiago. I will either get an onion bagel or I will get a plain bagel if I'm putting onion slices on it. And yeah. um... I'm Jewish, and it's a requirement of my religion to have lox, cream cheese, and onions on all my bagels. I I, I do believe it's in the Torah somewhere. Might be a law. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's religious law. <laughs> lox, onions, cream cheese on the bagel. <laughs> like, I got something new I need to try. What? I heard about it on uh, Kevin Smith's uh, Fat Man on Batman podcast I was listening to on the way home. Uh-huh. What, what was it? Frankenberry infused vodka. Oh my god, if there's something infused vodka, he has to have it. So, I need to try to find the recipe, and we need to buy, and, and if I can find the recipe, we need to get a box of Frankenberry before they all go away. Okay. This man loves infused vodka. He made this for Halloween. It is, is that no. no, candy corn. It's candy, candy corn. corn infused vodka. We both watched the Threadbangers, and uh, um, Rob Zarb, one of the Threadbangers, he did a candy corn and infused vodka recipe along with candy corn pizza which he wants to try thank you rob you um so pizza and you put candy corn on it yeah oh have you seen the people uh you know the waffle maker people made like a candy corn waffle where they put candy corn in the waffle maker and it made it into like a waffle shape oh no i haven't done and that and then they added whipped cream on it and also i like, haven't done that i love candy corn all right i thought we were getting plain yogurt peach pizza. yogurt this is our dessert. He doesn't like yogurt. I love yogurt, so. Mm -hmm. He's already made his decision. I had peaches in it, so I made it biased. Okay. Yeah, no, for sure, this one. Yeah, this there's is no hands so down. sweet. And even, I mean, so far, I've got two spoons. And both pe times was peaches in it. Yeah, that's okay. for that one I didn't get any peaches, so this may be the same thing like before, where there's not much. Oh no, I mean, I mean, I tried that one, mm -hmm. and as soon as I put that one in my mouth, it like blew that one away. Okay, that yes, one no. has so much flavor. It's a dessert. Okay, this is yo play. So this was all these. This is yo play. And that is it. That is all of the foods. So it looks like all these was the winner on only. Um, Major winner on only one category, macaroni and cheese, no, and it tied, um, and the t Italian dressing, yes. Yeah. So Aldi's was the winner only in the macaroni and cheese and the dressing. It tied on a lot of things, like the peanut butter uh, and the bread, um, and if 
comparing baking versus eating straight the cream cheese, but everything else, name brand, did seem to be the clear winner. Um, I'm sorry. Sorry, Aldi's. Uh, like I said, Aldi's is really good if you want to get the basics. I do go there for things like eggs and flour and sugar and, and you know, things that name brands really wouldn't make a difference on. Mm -hmm. So, um, but Yeah, like the tomato sauce. Yeah, well, like also the, tom awful. the tomato sauce. I'd say, um, I think they tied it enough that checking out the brands is worth it. Exactly. Because like those granola bars, those are expensive. Yeah. And I really, I mean, those were the big ones for me that I, I couldn't tell the difference. Y anymore. Yes. That was a big tie. That was the huge tie was the granola bars because those can be really pricey. Um, Nature Valley, though, um, it's a couponing decision. If you don't have the money, then go for all these because apparently they taste the same. However, sometimes I can get Nature Valley bars, bars for free with coupons, so it will all depend on what coupons you have, how far, of course, you are from an Aldi's because there's no sense saving the money if you're going to drive 50 miles to save a dollar. That's just pointless and stupid. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, yeah, I think generally you might get a better deal with couponing than you will at Aldi's. Um, luckily, I there, there's one only 10 minutes from here, so I can I can go to get my basics where it's um, for things that I won't have coupons for. And now, no, there's it. also a, another thing that, um, money saving wise, about Aldi's. Aldi's is a German company, so you can find German products there. Yeah, cheaper. So much cheaper. Like, if you want good chocolate, go to Aldi's. They have the best chocolate selection. I've heard that their wine selection is really good. I'm not a huge wine drinker, so I don't know. I've never tried the wine from there, but I've heard it's really good, so that's worth a shot as well. Yeah, but yeah. the well, chocolate is. Oh, see, I love the like the German cheeses, yeah. and I love the butter case. You're a cheese, cheese person. I love the the, the German butter case cheese, yeah. and we found it at all the Aldi's, and it was more than half the price than like if you went to Wegmans. Okay, see, there you go. For just, for the block, I mean, yeah. it was. Well, it see, was great. can I have beer? Yeah. Okay. yeah I, 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 but, um, German beer. Yeah, they have they have they have beer. They have the fancy, all the like the fancy ales and ciders and such too. But I'm not a huge drinker. I just, yeah, I couldn't tell you exactly what they have because I don't drink it at all. But with German, products, you don't drink like at all. Boyfriend. Beer. Oh, don't wine. drink beer. No, you're not really a beer person. No. Yeah. But my boyfriend loves German beers. They're specific German beers. Uh -huh. So in comparison to like Total Wine or something, where it's like it's always crazy expensive going in there. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to check that out. Like get them to write down and like price okay. check. Price check. <laughs> yeah, give it a try. But yeah, so that is our taste test for today. And uh, so I hope to see you guys next week. I'm going to be, I'm re my next video soon is going to be about redoing my binder because my, uh, my grocery store that I usually shop at broke my heart. They re renovated, they redid everything. They pulled everything off the shelf and moved everything around. And since my binder is organized by aisle, that it just it broke my heart. I had to do like so many hours worth of work. So that my next video is going to be about reorganizing the binders and how to do it. So. Um, I hope to see you soon, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.